Mets hosting the Pirates, and the Pirates are plus 107 on the money line. The Mets are minus 127. The over-under is at nine runs. The Pirates getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 180, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Mets laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 160, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by a minimum of two runs. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow morning. And if you do decide to bet overnight, I highly suggest you select the pitcher that you want, not the team, because if they change the pitcher and you bet the team because of the pitcher, you're going to be really mad, especially if the odds change. Oviedo pitched once against the Mets uh, this year. Six and a third, two runs to earn. They lost that game 5-1 to one in Pittsburgh, and he struck out five. They are 3-7 and seven as a team in his last 10 starts. He's averaging six innings pitched and five strikeouts per game in those games. They are 3-2 and two in his last five starts. He's got an ERA of 2.6, and he's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched. He threw over 100 pitches once in his last five starts. The under is 3-2 and two in his last five starts. Six earned runs, four strikeouts, 93 pitches. No earned runs, six strikeouts, 101 pitches. Back-to-back games with one earned run and five strikeouts, striking out nine, uh, pitching 99 and 90 pitches in those games. And then five earned runs, four strikeouts with 75 pitches. So obviously they 86 him a lot quicker out of that game. Uh, for the Mets, Meagle or Magel pitched once against the Pirates this year, three and two-thirds, uh, nine runs, seven of which were earned, and they lost that game 14-7. to seven. That was in Pittsburgh. He struck out one. They've lost his last three. They are three and seven in his last 10. He's averaging four and a third innings pitched and 3.7 strikeouts per game. He's got an ERA of 4.4. He's averaging four and a third innings pitched and the Mets are one and four in his last five starts. He's thrown over 100 pitches once in his last five starts. Five earned runs, three strikeouts, 84 pitches. Five earned runs, three strikeouts, 102 pitches. Four earned runs, two Uh, strikeouts 63 pitches one earned run seven strikeouts 90 pitches and then seven earned runs one strikeout and 79 pitches and he has lost his last two appearances against the pirates he's one and two in his last three he pitched against them in 2021 twice and then uh the mets lost both of those games and he's allowed a combined eight runs in three games his last outing was the worst one that he's pitched against the pirates Head to head, the home team is six and four. The Mets are seven and three. The favorite is nine and one on the money line. Leave it to the Mets to uh, kill the ten and zero streak for the favorite winning these games. The favorite winning these games by multiple runs, laying a run and a half on the run line, are seven and three. There have been two one run games in their last ten meetings. The over under is five and five, and the under nine specifically is five four and one. The Pirates won today seven to four. The Mets won the previous game 7-2, and then the Pirates won the game before that 2-1. The Mets won the game before that 5-1. Overall, the Pirates are 5-5 five and five in their last 10. The over is 7-3 in their last 10, and they are 2-2 two and two in their last four. Beating the Reds 4-2, uh, losing to the Reds 6-5, and then losing to the Mets 7-2, and then beating the Mets today 7-4. For the Mets... When we decide to flip this over, they're four and six in their last ten. They are two and two in their last four as well. And the under is six and four in their last ten. Losing to the Pirates six nothing. I mean, losing to the Braves six nothing. Forgive me. Then lose beating the Braves seven six. Beating the Pirates seven to two. And then losing to the Braves today. Why do I keep saying the Braves? Losing to the Pirates today, seven to four. I'm gonna take the Pirates in this one because. Meagle struggles with the Pirates. So I'm going to take the Pirates at the money line. I'm going to take the Pirates getting the runs, and I'm going to go over in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.